Hey, what's up guys, Ryan here, and behind me, my dog, Ari. Uh, she's gonna be helping us out today. Uh, so today I wanna do something a little bit different, and we're gonna talk about how to optimize your video export settings for Instagram. One of the things people tend to do a lot is take the video file that's meant for YouTube and upload that same file to Instagram. The problem this creates is that file is probably way too big for Instagram, and because of that, Instagram will compress and compress and compress. And unfortunately, by doing so, the quality of your video goes downhill. So in order to avoid all of this compression and making that video that you worked very hard on look really, really bad, I'm gonna walk you through how to best optimize your export settings for Instagram. Okay, so before you start messing with resolution or anything like that, the first thing you need to do is go down to level and hit 3.2. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because if you were to change all of these other settings first and then change level, it will change everything back to the default value that it was before. So you wanna make sure you change that first so you don't get overwritten. Then you wanna go up to the resolution tab, hit that unlock button and do 1280 by 720p. You wanna do this regardless of what your actual source video file resolution is. So if you got a 4K file, you still wanna do 1280 by 720p. This video I've got here is 60 frames per second, but we're gonna conform it to 24. We're gonna make sure our field order is progressive uh, and our aspect ratio is 1.0 square pixels. And you can change these if they're grayed out by just clicking on the checkboxes here. Um, depending on where you live, you wanna select their TV standard for your country. Profile, you can leave it main. And again, we changed the level um, setting earlier. You want to uh, render at maximum depth. And basically this just takes in account for the bit depth um, for your video and kind of improves the video quality despite all of these other compressing things that we're doing to make the video smaller. So then we wanna to go to bitrate encoding. And the important thing to note here um, is this is probably what Instagram looks at the most. So if you've got a very short video file, like 10 seconds, and you make it like 100 megabits per second, uh, even though your video file size is very small, it's not gonna like that bit rate. So we wanna change it to something a little bit more reasonable. Uh, we're gonna do 2.05, and then the maximum bit rate will be 2.5. Okay, everything looks good. All right, so now we're gonna create a preset. So we're gonna click over here, hit save preset. And we're gonna call this Instagram low bit rate, and then hit okay. So every time you go to export your video for Instagram, you can just click this little preset rather than having to change all the settings again and again and again. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more of these tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm now uploading every week. Isn't that right, Ari? She doesn't care. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.